Hi, this is Info Puppet, and welcome to Scrapbooking Part 2, where we're going to show you how to take an image, and instead of cropping it into a square, you're going to crop it into a shape, like a heart or a flower. You're going to love this. Photoshop elements open and I found this nice little illustration for my background and we're gonna go to the toolbar now and we're gonna scroll down and we're looking for the rectangle tool because behind it is what we're gonna need all the goodies in there there's the rectangle tool and custom shape tool is what I really want and now we're gonna click on this drop down and there's some shapes but if you click on the double arrows and select all element shapes you can see really there's tons of illustrations here that you can apply effects to to make them look great. But right now I'm gonna click on the double arrows and for this video we're just gonna go with flowers. So let's select this little tulip looking thing, close this out. Now see how that distorts? If you hold the shift key down, see how it just snap back and you'll get your shape to be proportionate to exactly how you want it, okay? Now, let's go down to the layers panel. Let me show you that if you see this gray background, See that gray background around the shape? This whole thing won't work if you see that. So you have to go to layer and simplify layer. And what that just did was create a transparency around the shape. And that's what the checkers mean. You now have a transparency around the shape. Now stay with me guys, you're gonna love this, I promise you. All right, there's two images. I'm gonna show you how to bring them both up at the same time as you need to do for this effect. Now we're gonna try to select this. And to select it, we're gonna hit uh, we're going to click and hit Control or Command at the same time. There you go. We now have a selection around our shape, which you need to do this effect. Now we're going to go up to Window, Images, and Float All in Windows. Now I've got both of my images in Photoshop Elements at the same time. Now I have to click on the top of this second image to make it active, because we're going to work on it right now. We need to select All. And now you see the selection is going around the whole image. Now we're going to go to Edit and Copy, okay? And we just copied that to the clipboard. Now we're going to click back on our nice illustration here. And we're going to go to Edit and Paste into Selection. What's going to happen? Boom! And that is so cool, but we're not done yet. Now if you go to the Move tool, we can move this thing around and position it a little bit better. Hang in there with me, guys. It gets better, trust me. Alright, so what we're going to do right now is I'll show you. We can now move this around. Kind of really paste it in here at this point. And we're going to go to Layer and Layer Style and Style Settings. You've got to put a little pizzazz on this. So I'm going to click on Bevel just to give it a little bit of a 3D effect. And I can change the size and customize my bevel if I want. I'm going to click on OK. Now you can see it already looks pretty good with that bevel look. But we're not done yet. We're going to make it still look a lot better. All right, so let's go ahead and go on up here. I can get rid of this now. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, select the shape tool again. And this time I want something with a long stem because we wanna put a stem on our tulip. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw this stem out. Now again, I'm holding the shift key down. I want the flower to be about the size of my tulip. I'm gonna place this eventually behind the tulip. I'm gonna show you how to do it. So I'll just drag it over the top of the tulip. We're gonna get rid of that green flower on top of our tulip. So all we have to do to do that is drag the shape of the tulip above the shape of the green stem looking flower and there you go, it's behind it, okay? Now we're gonna add some styles to that. So we're gonna go to layer, layer style, style settings and we'll start with a bevel, okay? And again, I, I want my bevel to be the same but we're also gonna put a drop shadow on here. Now, the only thing I'm gonna do to drop shadow is I'm gonna change the size from five pixels to like 32 pixels. So I'm gonna have to do the same thing now to my tulip. So I'm gonna click OK. And now I'm gonna go to my tulip and we're gonna put the drop shadow on that. So layer, layer style and style settings and click on drop shadow. And again, I'm gonna do the same number, 32. There you go. I'm going to click on OK. And now, look at that, how that's popping out of the page. 
Um, I'm going to click on Shape 2 and Shape 1. I'm going to hook my Shift key down so I can select them at the same time. And look how nice that looks. You can add more flowers if you want with more images. Hope you enjoyed the video from Info Puppet.